Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Kat and since I am still editing my Budapest day 3 vlog and someone requested that I do a video on how I edit my travel videos and travel vlogs. So I'm just going to share it to you. I know I am not professional on this but I do take time to edit my especially my travel videos just to make it uh, a little bit presentable and it has a story on it if you can say it like that and so I am using a I'm using Filmora and I'm using it on a MacBook Air and I don't know if uh, Filmora will have the same setting on different laptop brands so anyways I'm just going to show it on a MacBook Air and how I edit it and I'm gonna show a screen recording so let's get to the video so after you installed your Filmora you will have this icon here and you just double click this one and you press agree so it will now open and double click this too. So this will be it. So on this side, these are all my uh, saved projects. And since uh, I'm going to continue editing the Budapest Day 3 vlog, so this will be it. You'll just double click it. But if you are going to do a new project, you will have to click new project here. But first, select cinema, then click new project. But since I'm already uh, made a new project, so we'll just click this one. So this is how it looks. So if it will be a new project, this part here, the media, this will be empty. Then you will just have to um, transport, if that's the term. We'll just put uh, your video clips here and drag it in this bottom part show you this part by the way is um, you can click this one to minimize or make the clips smaller so that you will you don't have to scroll all the way to the left or to the right so yeah this clips will get smaller anyway uh, once you transferred your video clips here you can just drag it like this you can drag it here so this will appear here so I'll just take that one So for example, if uh, your video clips is saved on a, a memory card or a USB, then you will just have to go to, uh, for example, because sometimes my video clips are from my phone, are recorded from my phone, so I will just airdrop it uh, to my laptop. And it will go here in the downloads and for example this one there's this picture because I will include this in the video so you can just drag then place it here so it will just copy and this will be highlighted and the check means uh, you already used this one 
into this the editing bar something like that so yeah then you will just drag drag drop them um i'm just going to show you some other tools for example i'll just drag this here so the simplest way to trim your video so you put your cursor right at the edge of the clip then you will just drag drag it to the left to the right so as to cut the clip or to trim i'm sorry it's to trim the clip or you can move this line if you want to split the video for example you want it you want to split it here in this part and then just put your cursor at the red line then just right click and this option will pop up and you can click split so this will now you have a two separate video clip so yeah that's it and the volume is also here um, since this video clip is just showing the surrounding or the view you can just turn off the volume because later on you will anyways you will have your background music yes so in this part you have the audio in filmora we have we have free um, music also that you can use in other uh, paid subscription um, you can download also music from the Filmora website, I think. But since I got the lifetime subscription, so I'm only limited to these, actually. That's only the downside, but I'm fine with it because I can still um, use music from YouTube, uh, the no copyright ones. So, yeah, that's from the audio. And you have the titles here. You can click the title, anyways. Um, by clicking or by choosing any of these, it will appear here. So you will have a preview on what it will look like. Just like that. And for this one, just like this. And if you want to apply that one, you can just drag it onto the top of your video clip and you double click that one so you can edit. So this, it will appear like this one. And then you can just type in your title, for example, um, Budapest, Budapest Day 3, and so it will change here, you can change the font. that and this one you can change so it will appear here and you can also adjust it you can also adjust the size of this one you can drag this 
um, these red my dots red and square I come here to enlarge or to make the title small that's for the title you can change the color also you can choose any color here and you can change the, the style of the letters and this like that I never tried animation by the way but you can also use it for this example and you can click OK and you can click you can preview it and then we will go to transition so you have a bunch of trans transitions here that you can use and still the same if you will click uh, one transition then you can see the preview here and you can play how it will be on the video so on this one the blind then uh, in applying transition it should be between two clips for example this one and you want to use this in transition you can just drag it in between actually you have uh, three options for the transition you can put it uh, pre, mid, and post. But usually I use it on the mid. You can double click the transition, and this will show it's the duration. So it's like two nanoseconds. I think but I for me it's too long so I'm changing it to one actually so here you can see this also on where you will position your transition this is the overlap the prefix and the postfix okay that is the correct term overlap prefix and postfix I usually use the overlap then you can click OK and then you can preview again. Click play. And that's your transition. Of course, you will use transition if you have another clip or the next clip will be a different view or a different video. Okay, so we are done with transitions. Now we're going to the effects. So I think these are like filters or um, I don't know how to explain this one. For example, like this one, you can click that one and you can play it here so that you can see the preview as usual. So it's like that. To be honest, I don't usually use these effects or filters. Or maybe next time I can use this one. But anyways, that is for the effects. This one, elements. So basically, these are like stickers that you can add to your videos. For example, like these emojis. These are actually moving emojis, like that, this one. You can also add this to your title, just so you have some effects. So there are more arrows if you want to point 
add something on your video, you can use this ones. That's it for the elements. So if you want to use a different music background, not from the Filmora app, you can download it from YouTube and just save it to your iTunes library. You can just export it, for example, like this one. And these are just here. These are my non copyright downloaded background music. So you can just drag this one and drop it here so that it will be safe. This part here is your background music or your sound, so you can just drag it. It's done, so we will just look for it. So, this is the one that we've transferred. So, you will just click and drag it here. I don't know if I can still add one more, but you get the idea. So, it will be saved just like this one. The green bars, that is your music. These bars also, you can actually put another video on top of an existing video. If you get what I mean, for example, like this one. Something like this one, you just put it here. But if you will play this one, the clip that is below it will not be shown if you reach onto this clip. So I'll just drag it. Right from here, it will cut and then to put it as a picture and picture where you can put two videos on the same screen, but you will have to like minimize this one. So, what you do is you double click this one, so this will appear, these lines here. And you will just have to like minimize or put it smaller. So in iMovie, I think this is the picture in picture um option. So in Filmora you can do this. So basically those are just the few things that you need to know to start editing in Filmora and of course there are a lot of um, other things that you can do but you can explore it on your own and you can apply it to your videos so next I will just show you how I will compile um, my travel vlogs so usually the first part I put like a teaser so that your viewer will have a like overview of what's in the video so i put like point something seconds and put at least like seven to nine clips uh, depending also on your background music i usually jive it with the music so and then i just go on like an update of where we are going or how will we start the day and then I put on transition like this one so that I can show the next clip and usually the next clip is train rides, bus rides or just walking to where we are heading and yeah, basically that's it my travel videos depends 
on what we do for the whole day so basically I'll just compile it according to what we do first uh, first thing in the morning until we end there's also an option that is called freeze frame so within the video you can create a freeze frame so it will freeze for I think 0.4 seconds so that you can highlight something on that video then you just go on with all the video clips that you have just compile it step by step what you did first the next and then the last and also if I am talking to the video for example this one I'm saying something about the place here I'll just lower down the background music this one I put it uh, I don't know how percent. Just put it. I'll just lower down the volume and I'll up my I'll up the volume of the video so that I can hear more of what I'm saying, especially that I don't have an external microphone. So sometimes it's windy. Uh, it will not pick up what I'm saying so that's what I call my basic and starting to edit in Filmora 9 uh, usually that's just it it's very simple so that you can just start editing in Filmora so I hope you learned something from this video if you have questions uh, you can leave them in the comment section down below and subscribe to my channel like this video you can also share it with your friends and that's it for now i'll see you guys in my next one bye